Hi everyone, okay, so we are out here live at One Government Center. I'm gonna turn this around just to show you what we're looking at right now. Um, this is the end of the block. We're going all the way here. There's One Government Center. And then we have it blocked off over here as well. So far what we've been told is that there's a suspicious piece of mail that has been found. Uh, we, that is all of the details that we have, but you can see there's a very active scene right now. That is the Northwest Region 1 hazmat team truck right here. It looks like they, it's kind of hard to see on here, but they are running um, some water through here now, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, we do have police all geared up over here, or sorry, not police. We do have fire all geared up over here. We have the battalion chief out and uh, a bunch of people just kind of roaming around here so that's what we're able to see it looks like some people were just trying to get in the building and they blocked them off uh, I have gotten some videos from some other people on the top floors um, who don't necessarily know exactly what's going on uh, someone asked where this is this is in downtown Toledo so this is one government center this is where it's owned by the Port Authority and all of our major government offices for the city and some of the state offices for the area are also there. So that's what we're seeing right now. Um, again, we don't have any more details except for the fact that it's suspicious mail that was found. Um, M-A-I-L, not M-A-L-E. So mail as in being mailed to the area. Um, it looks like they're doing some stuff here with the hazmat unit, so not really sure what's going on. Uh, there's a paramedic walking into the building, and so this road is blocked off too. Um, so I was actually scheduled to do an interview here right about now, and uh, obviously that is not something that can uh, happen, so we're just kind of waiting to see what's happening, what's going on, what exactly was sent, um, but a very large presence. Um, we have more police back here too. So this is the block back where the old Tarta bus stop was. So uh, we have EMS, some more fire, um, more fire. And I mean, this is a very large building. So this building is 22 stories tall so uh, it is not a small building uh, there's probably a lot of people in there still because it's not quite time for the end of the shift so um, waiting to hear from people inside so far from what I know I, I know that the mayor's office is safe I did have a chance to speak to them um, so that is what I know I've reached out to some people that I know on other floors who work in the building haven't heard anything back from them yet so hopefully we will be getting more details but like I said the hazmat unit is on scene I'm going to walk around over here see if we can see what else is going on at the front of the building so we can't really see too much again I mean it's a very large building so suspicious mail some people are asking what's going on so suspicious mail m-a-i-l as in being sent to the building. We don't know what is in it. We don't really know uh, what prompted the call other than the fact that it was found. So the hazmat unit is here. Um, looks like the paramedics are bringing in a gurney of some type. It's coming around the corner. You can't quite see it yet, but I'll be able to show you in a second. Um, we do have the entire block here. Um, completely blocked off so you can't get through this area uh, so this is really all that we know right now I'm gonna just keep this going so that people can see what's going on fire trucks there's the paramedic going over there um, so hopefully we'll have more details for you soon my plan once we're done with this live is to call as many people as I know in the building see if they know anything else that's going on but so far the suspicious mail is all that we have been able to hear about. So it looks like we have some more fire and EMS people going inside. Um, again, just to give you a sense of how big this building is.
um, if you have been in downtown Salido, you know exactly where it is because it's very tall. It's right in the downtown area, right near the courthouses and everything like that. Nothing else appears to be shut off, just the one government center building area. Um, so again, a handful of EMS people are going in. Yeah, and a gurney just went in. So we don't know what that means. We don't know if anyone has been hurt or anything like that at this point. We just know that the area is blocked off. And from what I can tell, they have not been letting anyone in the building, obviously. And I haven't seen anyone come out either. So we will keep you guys updated. I'm going to give you one more look at the scene right now. So this is all the way behind us. Someone asked what floor, we don't know. There's 22 floors in this building, so it could be one of 22. All the way down there. So right over here, this is the police department headquarters and it's going past there is where all the first vehicles are. And then we have around here and then here's the front of the building. This is where we just saw the EMS and the gurneys go in and then um, they're also blocked off here and there are a few fire trucks back there as well. So I'm gonna wait until I get some more information and then we'll pop on here again and tell you what we have, the updated information. But for now, basically, again, all we know, suspicious mail and we did see some people go in with a gurney and we did have some EMS people. It looks like they were bringing in you know, some tables, places to set up things. So as soon as we learn more, I will let you know. But for now, we're going to make some calls and see what else we can find out. All right, thank you, bye.